Hi, welcome to Jacqueline's channel. And today we're gonna do some fried pork chops, some string beans with potatoes, and I may add some mushrooms in a gravy. And of course, you know that I love Dollar Tree's these pepper stir fries. No, I'm not sponsoring them, but what I do like is that it's economical that you can have red, yellow, and green onions, peppers, all mixed together. Let me show my face. <laughs> and you're getting them at a reasonable price. That's what is important. At this time, That it's important that we should look for economical ways to still feed our families. I also wanted to suggest, let me get this out. These are pork chops. My husband wanted pork chops. He didn't know I had taken them out already. I thank God that we're both cooks, but he'd a better cook. <laughs> but I wanted to um, say to you that when you purchase your meat, if you're not going to prepare it at that time, wash your meat, season it, and then put it in your freezer bags and freeze it so when you take your meat out, you don't have to worry about, oh wow, I gotta thaw it and then I gotta season it. If you pre-do all of this of washing, seasoning, and then freezing it, you cut a few steps and you save some time. So also, we got these as a Christmas gift. I forget the name of the company, but um, it's a, some kind of steak. I don't know if it's Omaha Steaks that they give you different part cuts of the steak. Very good. And along in this gift were these potatoes. These potatoes are awesome. So, what I'll do, I'll make a gravy. I was going to smother the pork chops, but I like smother pork chops, but I ain't crazy, crazy about them. So, I'll see, because I have enough pork chops where as I could smother them if my husband wanted, or just fry them, and I'll just have a gravy on the side. So, I'll be back in a minute. I have to peel some potatoes. Hi, I'm back. My potatoes are peeled. And now we're going to commence to chopping them. When I was taking out the pots I was going to use, I noticed I always go to my cast iron pots. I don't know if it's a thing where it is because I'm familiar with it, because I grew up with them, because these are my mother's pots, or I don't know. Maybe I just want to feel mama close to me when I'm in the kitchen. This here, wait a minute, sorry. What I did is I put my water on for my potatoes. And I also, when you're seasoning, kosher salt is really good to use. I'm sorry you're seeing me in and out. Um, kosher salt is really good to use. But be careful because you don't want to over salt your food. Okay. A little padilla. Okay. So the water is seasoned. 
by the time I finish cutting, cutting up these potatoes, the water should be boiling. I want to put my potatoes in once the water started boiling. Another thing, those of you, I'm not going to say that you lost your mother. I'm just going to say your mother is not here with you face to face, but I believe that our mother's spirit is always with us because you cannot separate the love that a mother has for her child. But I thought about when my mother passed, I said, I'm not going to be nothing like my mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As who always has paper towels neatly folded up in a plastic bag in her pocketbook. As who always carries, uh, what is that? Safety pins, barbecue pins extra plastic bags. I am the plastic bag queen. You know, all the things that I said that I'm not going to be like my mother, I am. And there are some times I get up in the morning and I look in the mirror about to wash my face and I feel like, Mama, look at Mama. And I, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. Those of you that still have your mother, cherish her. Yeah, she get on your last nerve. Uh -huh. I know she do. But there may be a day, and I'm not going to say maybe, there will be a day that you wish that she could just be around so she can get on your nerve. I'm telling you. Not, not going to say immediately, but after when my mother, you know, she wasn't with us no more, I went to call her. That's a horrible feeling, y'all. It's a horrible feeling. And those of you that can identify, I know. I know. We all know. That's why it's important for us to stick together, love our parents, not only our mother, but love our fathers also. Love them because there's going to be a day that they're not with us. So cherish this time now. Cherish it. I'm telling you, cherish it. Also, what I've done is I took out all the bad boys today. I got Big Ben here. That's the one. I guess you could call this like a, a KSI and crock pot. This cooks its bunky off. I love this one. And then I have the next size. And the next size. I think I have two. I think I have five of them. But the water is already seasoned. I'm going to put my potatoes in once the water starts boiling. This pan here, I'm going to do the pork chops in two pans so I don't have to take out you know, and put more and all that. And then this last pan here, I'm going to do my string beans in them. And I'll be back.